This video is going to be a fun one, but first, you need to know that this is for entertainment purposes only, and we don't make any recommendations on this channel. Instead, we aim to inform. Moving forward, let's talk about how I earned $600 from Ethereum crashing a couple weeks ago. If you want the specific step-by-step -step tutorial to learn how to long and short Ethereum, or even another crypto asset, you can skip the technical whiteboard part of this video that explains how it works. Anyways, welcome to Whiteboard Crypto, the number one YouTube channel for crypto education, and here we explain topics of the cryptocurrency world using analogies, stories, and examples so that people like you can easily understand them. In this video, you're going to learn what the Fulcrum Protocol is, how it works, and why it can be useful to traders that may have some inside knowledge. So first off, Fulcrum is a protocol that allows you to essentially trade on margin using crypto. This means you can use your money to essentially have the power of two, three, four, even up to five times your own money. But it doesn't come without risks. Let me explain with an example. Case A. Ethereum is at $2,000. You buy $1,000 worth of something called a 5x long from Fulcrum, essentially investing $1,000 hoping that it'll go up. In this case, you are right. Ethereum moved from $2,000 to $3,000 overnight. This means it went up 50%. And since you were 5x long on it, you earned 250% because 50% times 5 is 250%, meaning you made a profit of $2,500. This is an example of when times are good, but let's go over when times are bad. Case B. Ethereum is at $2,000. You buy $1,000 worth of a 5x long from Fulcrum again. However, this time the market does not move in your favor. The market crashes 24%. This means it went down 24%, and negative 24 times 5 is negative 120%. This means you lost your total investment of $1,000. Your money was liquidated sometime around when the price had dropped 20% and some other investor claimed your proceeds. Now this might be a little confusing, but let me explain. Essentially, what you are doing is creating a leveraged position that has the ability to multiply your money depending on how you use it. Think of a really heavy object that you want to move. You can move it simply by using a lever with a pivot point close to the object and a really long arm. The longer the arm is, the less force you need to apply, but it does stretch out over a longer distance. However, in the end, you can move a very heavy object with less total force. This is basically what Fulcrum allows you to do. Now, we're about to get into the technical part, so if you're not too big on financial terms, you may need to watch some of our other videos. First off, what is a long position? A long is a position where you believe the market is going to go up in the future. Well, how is this created? It's created when you borrow and lend two different assets. This is Whiteboard Crypto, and we love using examples. So let's say Ethereum is $1,000, and you buy $1,000 of it, an entire token. You invest this Ethereum with Fulcrum, and they say you can use it as collateral to borrow 80% of something else. So with this as collateral, you buy some USDC for 80% of the value. So now Fulcrum says they owe you one Ethereum, but you owe them 800 USDC. Well, what do you do again? You buy some more Ethereum with that USDC, and then you deposit it into a Fulcrum. And now Fulcrum says that they owe you 1.8 Ethereum, and the process repeats itself. You can borrow 80% of that $800 you just gave them. So now you borrow $640 and repeat the process one more time. In the end, Fulcrum owes you 2.44 Ethereum, but you owe Fulcrum $1,952 to unlock it. And you also have $512 in your own account that you haven't repeated the process with. You're just holding. Lucky for you, Ethereum doubled. So now on your balance sheet, you owe Fulcrum $1,952 and they owe you 2.44 Ethereum, which is now worth $4,900. So you come up with the money to pay them and you made a profit. Here's a little trick though. Instead of coming up with $1,952 that you owe them all at once, you can just reverse the process that you did earlier and basically unwrap your liquidity by putting in some USDC, unlocking a little bit more Ethereum, trading it back to USDC, unlocking more Ethereum, and trading it back, and you keep repeating this process until you've cashed out your entire initial deposit. Now I know right now this is probably difficult to understand, so we do plan on explaining it separately with more examples and a little bit slower in another video, which means you should definitely hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you'll know exactly when we post it. Now, moving on, there's another idea you need to understand and it does also deserve its own video. 
and it's when the price starts falling, you will get what is called liquidated. With few words, if Ethereum had gone the other way, if it had started to crash in our example, you would then owe Fulcrum more money than they owed you. And because of this, they would start to liquidate your position to make sure you aren't running away with your money. Basically, basically you start losing money that you do not get back if the price starts to fall under a certain percentage. Depending on how many times you borrow, exchange, and then reinvest, you can control how risky this investment is. If you do it many, many times, it is very, very risky but if you only do it once, it's a lot safer if the price swings up and down. Also, if you do it many times, you also get a much higher multiplier if it goes up, but you're also more vulnerable because it doesn't have to reach such a low price to be liquidated. You'll see in my tutorial video what I'm talking about in a few minutes. Next up though, what is a short position? Well, a short is an investment that gains value when the price of one asset decreases. Without getting too technical, to create a short position, you do the exact opposite of a long position. Instead of depositing Ethereum and then borrowing USDC, you would deposit USDC and then borrow Ethereum. Now this is a lot of words, but basically you just need to know if you have a short position and Ethereum goes down, you will make a profit. But if it starts to go up, you might get liquidated until you start to lose your initial investment. That is exactly how I earned $600 by shorting Ethereum. However, I do want to say for the purposes of this video, it was very risky. And now that I'm actually educated on the subject, I have to say I do not recommend shorting or longing any crypto assets such as Ethereum or Bitcoin because they are quite volatile and you're basically gambling. I personally just wanted to share my experience with Fulcrum as a way to get you interested into learning about the protocol. It's probably the best form of clickbait out there. Now another question you might have is where does Fulcrum get the money so that I can borrow from them? This is a great question. Fulcrum actually has an option to invest without borrowing and they have paid a decent interest rate for investors in the past. What do they do with this capital? Well they loan it out to the margin traders. This means if you wanted to, you could simply use Fulcrum as an investment platform to earn an interest rate. But I'll talk about this in the tutorial part and show the interest rates you can earn as well. Also, any margin position has an interest rate that you have to pay associated with it. For example, if you wanted to buy a 4x long position on Bitcoin, you'd have to pay a 12% APY to the Fulcrum protocol. So far in the video, I also don't think I've mentioned that you can make long and short positions on other assets and not just Ethereum as well. They have a few other options. One thing you need to know is that Fulcrum is just a tool built on the BZX protocol. They have a few other tools, such as their own token, and they have a lending platform called Torque. Personally, I'd be really interested to see any other tools that they create, since Fulcrum and Torque both have around $20 million currently invested in their tools, which are technically just smart contracts. Their governance token BZRX also allows holders to vote on certain protocol updates and also stake their tokens for interest. One more thing I want to get to before the tutorial is that what are the benefits of using Fulcrum? For me personally, there are three main things that I see. Number one, they have something called crypto insurance. Now I'm not sure how much of an explanation I can give about this without getting technical, but basically you need to know you can buy crypto insurance and that Fulcrum has it. So if there's ever a problem, the insurance protocol will pay out. Number two, there is no KYC, because secondly, buying longs and shorts on the traditional market is a crazy process due to regulations and taxes, and I'm not even sure if you can buy crypto margin calls in traditional finance, but being able to perform these trades without KYC is very nice. Lastly, number three, they have been audited. Fulcrum and BZX have been audited by professional companies, so there's no obvious holes in the code or issues with mass scale adoption. For me, being audited is just a form of trust. So that's how Fulcrum works and kind of some stuff I wanted to share about it. But without further ado, let's get into the video of me actually using Fulcrum. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, welcome to the tutorial part of this video. So basically, we're going to start off at Fulcrum.Trade. This is the URL. And this is their homepage. So they've got the trading options and the lending options, like benefits of why their stuff is really cool. Uh, this is actually kind of neat. I've never done use that before. But uh, so if you go here to trade, personally in this video, I'm going to use Polygon Network because I have assets on that network right now. But uh, I'm going to show you how to use Fulcrum. So when it loads here, you get the dashboard. You can pick any asset you want. Like I could short uh, USDC versus Tether. I could long Matic, uh, any of these assets. I think on the Ethereum version of Fulcrum, there's a lot more. This right here is the uh, longing and ETH asset. So like you can pick 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x. The higher the multiplier, 
the riskier the position is. So like right here, this is the market price that it is saying that Ethereum is in Tether. And then this is a liquidation price. So basically, if Ethereum falls under this, you're going to be in trouble. So you're basically betting that it's going to be under this. This interest APR, this number is huge. I've never seen it over 100%. In fact, I've never seen it over 30%. I'm assuming it's because there's a lot of network traffic right now that like Ethereum is pumping. So this is probably why this number is so high. It's usually not. Um, for the purposes of this video, since Ethereum is pumping, I'm going to buy a short position. So here's 1x all the way up to 5x. I'm going to do a 2x so it's not too risky. And just for the purposes of this video, uh, I'll probably cancel it immediately. But So I've already got some Tether. I've got around $50 in Tether here. And it gives this little uh, dashboard tells you like what the entry price is, what the liquidation price is. So since this is a short position, if Ethereum goes above $4,300, which I believe is actually would be a, a new all-time high, then I will be liquidated. And it shows you your fees here and some Chi stuff, which I'm not, that's outside the scope of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and click Sell Short ETH. A little thing will pop up. And as you know from my other videos, I like to edit this to like at least something like 0.03 Matic is still super affordable. Uh, just to make sure that it goes through quickly and that no errors pop up. So after I've done that, it was confirmed. And uh, usually it pops up here immediately. Sometimes you have to refresh the page. There we go. All right, so we've got our short position here. And so uh, we have the collateral is 0.01 and it's measured in Ethereum. So 0.0293 is the amount of Ethereum that we're getting like exposure to. And then this is the position value. So it's 2x. I actually put in $50. So the position value is $100. And you can see right here, if you click on Ethereum, uh, I like to see things in like United States dollars. So, so far on this position, we've already lost $1. And that's probably due to the fees and like transaction costs and stuff. But if, if Ethereum starts going down in price, this number will start to be positive. Unless it hits this number, then I'll be liquidated and then basically that $50 that I put in won't be here. So if you wanted to close this position, like let's say you made $50 or maybe you're down 20 and you want to keep the rest of the 30 that you already put in, you'll hit close position and you'll just basically max all this out. And right now this would be me receiving Ethereum, but instead maybe I want to receive Tether and I can do that. So as you can see, I'm basically down a dollar already, but this is how you use Fulcrum. So you've got, if you want to, let's say instead of, we wanted to do Ave, so we could long Ave. We can also short Ave, and we can make it really risky with high rewards. So like if Ave goes up 10%, and this is on the 5x multiplier, we will gain 50% of our investment. But if it goes below 300, the liquidation price, you'll start to lose money. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you about Fulcrum really quick is this lending tab right here. So I can actually deposit any of these assets, and I will earn an interest rate. So currently, like USDC earning 16%. 17% right now, that is really good for a stable coin because stable coins don't really change price. So you're essentially getting 17% APR by depositing this asset. And I mentioned this earlier in the video, uh, Fulcrum uses these assets to create these leveraged positions. So if you want to earn an interest on your stable coins without too much risk, uh, Fulcrum is a great place to do it. And if you have maybe some insider knowledge or maybe you just kind of want to get used to using smart contracts and MetaMask, you can open up small positions here on Fulcrum and uh, see how they play out. I've made money with this. I've lost money with this, but definitely I have learned a lot. So hopefully this video was useful to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I really hope that you've learned something. And most of all, click that subscribe button because I would really like to see you in a future video. We'll see you guys later.